For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life is hard. They say life is good. But let me tell you what life will give you. Life may give you riches. Life may give you love. But life also will give you death. And you cannot have life without death. And God has made man to worship and praise his holiness. And the fact is that man disobeyed against God by eating of a fruit that he wasn't supposed to eat, and man's life became death. Man became a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. That's why we die. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And to be righteous with God, you've got to take care of your sins, and there's nothing for you to take care of your sins. You cannot do good work. When the Bible says there are none, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. You have to be righteous for the holy and righteous God said, Be holy, for I am holy. And the Bible says again, There is none righteous. So you cannot do good works. You are not righteous enough. And all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You're in big trouble. Because you're going to die because you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. That will bring your death. Whether you die of cancer, whether you die by going to bed, closing your eyes and not waking up, whether you die getting hit by a car, whether you die, however you die, the, the foundation of death is you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. Like cancer, sin is terminal. It will kill you. And there's nothing that physicians can do for your sin condition. And there is nothing that religion can do for your sin condition. Science will never find a cure for sin. You are hopeless, you are without God when you are in your sin, and you will die in your sin, and you will go to hell. But hell is not the place because you are a sinner. People do not go to hell because they're a sinner. That may seem odd from a street preacher, but... People go to hell because they had not done something that God has told them to do. And the Bible records to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And a man goes to hell not because of adultery, not because he's a thief, not because he lies, not because he steals, but he has not believed on the land of God which take away the sin of the world. Now the Bible says we are all sinners, for all have sinned, come short of the glory of God, and sin, the wages of sin is death. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is a remedy for your sin. It's the Lamb of God, which is Jesus Christ. 
The Bible does not say a religion or a procedure outside Jesus Christ is hopeful. There is no hope. When the Bible speaks about Jesus Christ being the blessed hope, and when I quote the verse, the wages of sin is death, there is a second part to that verse of Romans 6.23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And when I say the gift of God is Jesus Christ, we start off always with, for God so loved the world that he gave, there's the gift. His only begotten son, that's Jesus, that whosoever, that's you and me, believeth on him, believe, shall not perish. You will perish without Jesus Christ. You will perish with baptism. You will perish by doing good. You will perish with hopeful thinking. You will perish with good works. If you do not have the Son, the Bible says, He that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God, hell, abiding, 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 living in hell forever. Now this is not hell. Some people may think, oh, I'm in hell. It ain't hell yet. Hell is a place of permanent and forever torture. The Bible calls it torment. You would call it torture. There is no relief. But there is a relief. You can have the Lord Jesus Christ wash you of all your sins and be cleansed. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's what we do. We're unrighteous. And the only cleansing according to the Bible is the cleansing of God through Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Nothing can wash away your sins but the blood of Jesus. Giving money is fine. It's great. There are plenty of people in hell that gave money. You say, preacher, I'm a member of a church. There are church members in hell today. There are church members that will go to hell today. You say, preacher, I've been baptized. Baptized people are in hell wishing for that little drop of water to cool their tongue. And they won't get it. God has set forth a standard and the standard by the words of Jesus himself Jesus said not me Jesus said I am the way how's that there's no other way to get to heaven but through Jesus and how is Jesus the way he says I am the way the truth, the truth is, Jesus is the way to heaven. The Bible speaks about it is impossible. God cannot and will not ever tell a lie. So when Jesus says, I am the way, he is the truth. That's the God's honest truth. Now, when somebody gets up and says, you can go to heaven by putting money in a plate, you can go to heaven by doing this, you can go to heaven by doing that, you can go to heaven by this or that, by burning candles and do whatever, prayer, whatever you can do outside of Jesus to go to heaven. The Bible says that's a deceiver. That's a liar. Because Jesus is the way, according to Jesus' mouth. 
He is the way. He is the truth. And do you want life? Guess what? He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You want life? It begins with Jesus. Life doesn't begin at 50. Life doesn't begin at 60. Life doesn't begin at 30. Life begins at Calvary, where Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you put your faith and belief upon what Jesus has done, and only by Jesus, life begins. Jesus says, I am the way the truth and the life. Jesus goes on more to say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, human being, cometh unto the Father, that's God, but by me. And when Jesus says, I am the way, no man can come unto God but by me, you are not going to get through God by any other way. There is no other way. The definite article, the, means there's nothing else. You must, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. Acts 16.31. In the New Testament, right after the Gospel, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, 31, says salvation is through believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know when the Bible started being written? 300 years after Christ died, and very little because people had nothing to write about. They had very limited vocabulary. So salvation, meaning going to heaven, meeting God Almighty, being a child of God, is you believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. You're a good person, there are good people in hell. And you wouldn't even think that. You mean there are good people in hell? Yes, there are. Many good people. Good people can reject Jesus Christ. You say, preacher, I, I, I go to church. There are church goers in hell. And they have rejected Jesus Christ. That's why they're in hell. You know who's not in hell? Someone that has re someone who has received Jesus Christ has believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ they are not in hell and they don't have to be good they could have been awful they could have committed the most violent crimes and received Christ as their Savior and God will save their soul See, the common denominator of us all, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Listen, I'm a saved sinner. I am going to heaven only by Jesus. I said, I am a sinner. I am a saved sinner. And I'm saved only by the blood of Jesus Christ. How am I going to heaven? By Jesus Christ. That suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Well, aren't you a good person? No, I'm not. I'm good sometimes. Sometimes doesn't get you to heaven. You see, if you're good, there are times you are bad. How do you cover your bad when you probably do more bad than you do good? 
What cleanses your bad? Good is not an eraser for bad. You know? A man goes out, gets drunk in a car, he drives, and, and he, he takes care of his family, he loves his family, that's good. And on the way home, DWI, he nails another car and kills people. That's bad. How do you cleanse that bad? The blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse of that sin. Behold the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You want to remove your sin? God says, come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God says, come to him with your sin condition. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. At least any man most. The only boasting we do in glory is Jesus Christ and not me. When we get to heaven, my preaching on the street will get no praise. A man who has traveled over to another country gets no praise and glory but the foundation of the ministries are that of the blood of Jesus Christ. That will get praised. Jesus. Broken pieces I'm seen come together The only hope and there's a lot of hope is the blessed hope and the glorious hope of Jesus Christ and that is it. And it's that simple. For by the blood of Jesus Christ, you can have access to God and His heavenly throne forever. Nothing else. Perfect winter day. Now, after salvation, you do work because you love the Lord Jesus Christ. But what I do after salvation has not brought my salvation. My salvation rests totally 100% in what Jesus has done and what I have not done. Listen, the Bible says it is the Holy Spirit that draws you to God. You can't even say, well, I came to Jesus. No, the Holy Spirit brought you to Jesus. We've got dreams. The invitation was of God coming to you. And the invitation is today. Come to Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is now we say. It's that simple. Perfect winter day. You cannot say, I am going to heaven and not believe on Jesus. Nobody knows where I go. It's that simple. Oh, I trust things we don't know. Trade little kisses. Are we crazy? The breather. I do fall in On a perfect winter day. The Bible is a wonderful book. It's God's book. And what is the main theme of the Bible? Going to heaven? Well, yeah, it's a theme. It's a wonderful theme for you and me, but that's not what the Bible's about. Well, the Bible's about the nation of Israel. Yeah, that's good. They're God's people. They're forever God's people. You better leave them alone. You better bless Israel. You don't curse Israel because you will be cursed. But Israel is not the main topic of the Bible. You can't find a born-again Christian in the Old Testament. But I can tell you what you would find in the Old Testament 
and in the Gospels and in the New Testament. I'll tell you who you will find. You'll find Jesus Christ. The theme of the Bible is the theme of heaven and glory, Jesus. The, the cherubim are crying out, holy, holy, holy to God and not us. If the cherubim would come down and then stand in front of me, they would say, baloney, baloney, baloney. But to God, holy, holy, holy. The Bible says that the angels rejoice at one sinner that repents and believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. That rejoices the angels. Angels don't rejoice when you give money to charity. Angels do not rejoice at baptisms. The dying thief on the cross never baptized, never joined the church. And Jesus said, today thou shalt see me in paradise. It's that plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Glory to God in the highest. There is no glory in what man does. And when you glory in yourself, repent and give God the glory. When we glory in ourselves or someone else, that's pride proud and that too is a sin the Bible says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved